Hi folks, this is one of the coolest features of Fusion 360 that I'm going to bet most folks don't know about. Welcome to another Fusion Friday. Every time you save your project in Fusion 360, it versions up your design. So in this example, we've got 19 versions. Here is what's amazing. I'm going to click open details on web. Being able to view this in the web is useful, but it's not something that I honestly have ever really used. This is what's amazing. We can compare the versions of this design file. I'm gonna click the V19 dropdown. I'm gonna choose compare versions. Let's compare 19 against version eight. Take a look. It's telling me in green components that were added if there were any that had been removed, they would be in red, and all the modifications. So let's look at those modifications. So I'll click the green to get rid of it. Red, we don't have any. The modifications though, look at this list. So if I click adapter, I can say, okay, this was changed between eight and 19, moved. Looks like it was moved. So I can zoom in, or I can just toggle back and forth. And so that was just a parametric move. Let's see if we can find something else meteor here. Look at this. This is amazing, folks. So what is this? This project is an idea that we have for a uh, faster, more efficient, and safer way to uh, load and unload our Haas 5-axis trunnion. We just threw up a video showing our first cuts with this. It's amazing. We want a better way. So Jared and Ed have been working on this. I've actually been on the road, so we've been talking, but I haven't been in the model. So I wanted to kind of look through and see what were their changes, what were their design process. This is so cool, and I had no idea Fusion had this functionality. You know, it looks like between eight and 19, there was a pretty big change. So let's change the versions we're comparing and see if we can find something more specific, say between 14 and 19. And none of this is destructive. We're just viewing the file here, which is nice because it's a kind of a safe way. So it looks like here we just added the, a floor, uh, modified those, still modified quite a few things. I'm not sure what it is with the language or font in the uh, tree here, kind of interesting. Um, so it doesn't look like I'm gonna see too much, mostly just moves here. Let's take a look at the Imperializer though. This is actually the file from last Friday's Fusion Friday on comparing lead in and lead out. I'll open details in web. What I did was I deleted some faces and changed some features or holes. That's the stuff I would wanna see if I was hopping into a model and I wanted to say, what happened since I last took a look at this? This is awesome for your own shop, whether it's just you and you forget what you did, or getting into distributed design where you've got folks working remotely or in, in you know larger teams. Compare versions. We'll compare six against one. Awesome, so nothing got added. One thing got removed. If you remember from that Fusion Friday, I was doing a real quick demo of what a climb cutting tool looks like, so I don't need to see that right now. One was modified, so what was modified? Unfortunately, I don't have the individual changes, but what I know I did or vaguely recall doing was opening up some holes and changing some corner fillets. So the best thing I know to do, and it's still helpful, is to just toggle between the two and as you do that, you can see those changes. So that makes it pretty easy to see uh, the holes right here and here, changed the diameter. These holes got deleted, and clearly the corners, uh, the corner fillets or rads got changed. Now I would love to see this, and maybe it's a functionality that I just don't know how to get to. I would love to see a color comparison of the solid model, sort of like what really was different so that you could uh, ensure you weren't missing a smaller feature or a hidden feature, or obviously in a more complex model, it may be difficult to have much confidence you're seeing everything. Uh, this is a relatively simple and open box, but still really, really awesome. Uh, shout out to Kevin Schneider. Uh, his Autodesk University presentation was where I learned this. Kevin is, is one of, if not the father of Fusion 360. And he did a really awesome presentation at Autodesk University called Teamwork Makes the Dream Work, going through some amazing detailed stuff about working on design and teams for Fusion 360. And here's the awesome thing. Anybody can watch this class uh, online or watch this presentation online. We'll include a link in the video description. Hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed. Take care. See you next Friday.